Hi, welcome to Ashley Marie. Today we're making one of my very favorites and that is traditional liege waffles. These things are amazing. They use big, huge sugar crystals and then when you cook them, they melt and then they get glossy and shiny and crunchy and they're just so good. Let's get started. This is a yeast dough, so we're gonna start by activating the yeast. I have my yeast. And then I have sugar, because sugar helps activate yeast. Now it's time to add our warm liquid. Now you want your warm liquid to be between 110 degrees Fahrenheit and 115 degrees Fahrenheit. That's like not a very big difference. If you're gonna air on one side, air on it being a little bit too cool, it will still activate the yeast. But if it's too warm, it will actually kill the yeast, which will ruin whatever it is that you're making. Anyway, this recipe calls for uh, warm whole milk. I just took it straight out of my fridge and microwaved it for 35 seconds and it was perfect. Pour that right over your yeast. And now let it sit for five to 10 minutes. It should be nice and foamy and bubbly when it's done. Now we're gonna add the flour. We're using bread flour for this recipe. So I'm gonna use half the flour now. Whew, I poured it in a little too fast. And I'm gonna take two eggs. I'm gonna pop them and just lightly break them up real fast and then pour those in as well. And we're gonna stir this into a dough. Now it's time for our first rise. So that this dough doesn't get all crusty, you can cover it with plastic or a really tight sealing lid. It'll probably be fine, but this is gonna be growing a lot. And I found that it's easier just to take the flour that we're gonna be mixing in next anyway, and sprinkle it over the top. And that creates a nice little covering for the dough, if you will. We're also gonna be mixing in brown sugar and salt. You can wait to add these later, but I'm just adding everything so that when my timer goes off, I can just come in here and turn the mixer on. So it's a little bit bigger. As you can see, the dough has popped up in a couple of areas and I just covered them with the flour. So now we're gonna mix this. While this is mixing, we're gonna add some honey and some vanilla. As you can see, it's still really thick and chunky and it's not really brought together very well. So what we're gonna do is turn it on and I'm gonna add the butter two tablespoons at a time. Now that the butter is incorporated, we're gonna mix it on a low medium for about four minutes and then we're gonna let it rest for a minute and then beat it again for two, then rest for a minute, beat it again for two until it starts balling up really nicely. So it's all mixed, it's the right texture. We're gonna cover it. If you don't have a good lid, you wanna put like saran wrap over this or anywhere just to keep it sealed so it doesn't dry out because we're gonna let this rise for four hours. Now I've seen some liege waffle recipes where they either cut out this step and then move straight on to the next or they cut out the overnight completely and they go immediately to cooking this, but that's not gonna give you the really authentic flavor and texture. So while this is a little bit time consuming, I promise, I promise it is worth it. And now we're gonna knock it down. Turn the dough out onto some uh, plastic wrap and now we're gonna just wrap it up. Now this is gonna want to try to escape the plastic wrap because it's gonna keep growing overnight. So you wanna wrap it really good. I always go a little excessive. It's really good to put it in something and weigh it down. So I just put it in a glass casserole dish that's about the same size and put the lid on it and I'm gonna wrap it one more time and help weigh it down. Stick it in the fridge overnight. It's been overnight. Our dough is nice and stiff and you know pushing at the edges of this plastic wrap, but it didn't escape anywhere, so that's good. And we're gonna need all of the Belgian sugar crystals. Now these are really big sugar crystals and that's what creates those pockets of sugar that melt in the waffle iron and crystallize and give it that perfect taste. So don't use the Swedish sugar pearls. You wanna use the Belgian sugar pearls. They're really big and they're the correct ones that you wanna use for this. So it's kind of hard work because it's cold dough. This batch makes a uh, baker's dozen, so 13. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut it in half, and then I don't try to roll them because that's not gonna work. You just kind of try to squish the corners and create a circle. And then we're gonna leave this for 90 minutes and it'll kind of poof up and be soft. It'll be perfect for the waffle iron. Right now, if you try to stick these in the waffle iron, it wouldn't really squish. So we need them to thaw and soften and kind of poof a little bit. 
so I use these cast iron waffle irons that come apart and the reason that I do this is because I cook them on the stove and then I can control the temperature. You can use a normal waffle iron but they, they get way too hot for these. Sugar burns at a much lower temperature than regular waffle irons cook at and so you want to be careful. If you're using a regular waffle iron, uh, put your dough in, leave it on for like a minute and then turn your waffle iron off and then leave them to cook while it cools down a little bit. It's a little bit tricky. You're gonna have to find kind of what works for you, but I love these that I can just put on my stove and control the temperature. Just stick your dough balls on, close it and squish it down. Now I keep mine at a medium temperature and I cook them for about a minute and a half on both sides. So put your timer on and then they will be golden brown at the end of that and perfect. And you can see how it gets all glossy and shiny from the sugar. And that's it, we're done. These things are wonderful all on their own, or you can dress them up a little bit. You can put whipped cream and berries on them. Personally, I like them with some lemon curd. Let's get some of this on here. Oh, so good. And then some whipped cream, and then some fresh raspberries. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget, in the description box down below, I have a link to printable recipes, all of my versions, traditional liege waffles, coconut liege waffles. Um, I like to dress them up, the lemon curd, the whipped cream, uh, any recipe you want on my site, there's gonna be links down below to that. Leave me a comment if you try it and love it, or if there's a suggestion that you have for me that you think would make my channel better, or a recipe that you really wanna see me make. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything. It's gonna be awesome. And now, oh, we get to eat. Um, <laughs> you guys, seriously, this is so good. Mm. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Dense, with a great crunch, and then that tart lemon pairs really nicely with the sweet. <sighs> This is seriously one of my all-time favorites. It's my dad's favorite. I make it every time he comes into town. In fact, this is probably one of my most requested uh, recipes when anybody comes to visit. So it's that good. It's a little time consuming, but it's not that hard. So uh, give it a try. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.